The animal kingdom is full of mysteries and surprising combinations that challenge our understanding of biology and genetics. One such curious example is the zebra law, a hybrid born from the crossing of a horse and a zebra. While this may sound like something out of a fictional story, this crossbreeding is real and sparks curiosity among scientists, breeders, and animal lovers alike. What is a zebra law? A zebra law, also known as a zebroid, is the result of a union between a zebra and a horse, or in some cases, a donkey. This type of crossbreed occurs most commonly between a male zebra and a mare female horse, producing an animal with mixed characteristics of both species. The term zebra law typically refers to a cross with horses, while zebroid can encompass crosses with other equids like donkeys and ponies. Appearance of the Zebra Law A zebra law has a fascinating and unique appearance. In terms of size and body structure, it resembles a horse, inheriting the frame and stature of a regular equine. However, its coat is what truly sets it apart. Zebra laws often have their bodies covered with the iconic stripes of zebras, usually on their legs, neck, and parts of the head, while the rest of the body may have a solid color, like that of a horse. The intensity and pattern of the stripes can vary greatly depending on which zebra and horse genes are more dominant. Some zebra laws may have prominent stripes across their entire body, while others may only display faint striping in specific areas, like the legs or hindquarters. Behavior and Temperament One interesting aspect of the zebra law is its behavior, which tends to reflect traits from both zebras and horses, but with some unique features. Zebras, being wild animals by nature, tend to be more aggressive and difficult to domesticate compared to horses, which have a long history of coexisting and working with humans. This wild nature of zebras can be passed down to the zebra law, resulting in an animal that may be more challenging to train and handle than a typical horse. However, the combination with horse genes can also soften this temperament. Breeders have reported that zebra laws can be more cooperative than pure zebras, but they still exhibit a certain degree of resistance and independence that sets them apart from fully domesticated horses. Zebra law genetics, a hybrid of differences. Horses and zebras belong to the equus genus, but their species have different numbers of chromosomes. Horses have 64 chromosomes, while zebras have between 32 and 46 depending on the species. This makes hybridization a challenge, and it's the reason why zebra loss, like other hybrids, are usually infertile. Infertility occurs because the chromosomes of the parents do not align perfectly during reproduction, preventing the formation of viable gametes. Despite this infertility, the zebra law inherits a mix of physical and behavioral traits from both parents. The robust structure and speed of a horse, combined with the stripe markings and resilience of a zebra, make the zebra law a visually striking and physically powerful animal. History and Uses of the Zebra Law The idea of crossing zebras with horses is not new. During the 19th and early 20th centuries, zebra laws were bred with the goal of producing strong, hardy animals for transport and work in African regions. Since zebras are more adapted to hot and arid climates, it was hoped that the zebra law would combine this resilience with the strength and domestication of horses. These experiments did not achieve widespread success, mainly due to the difficulty in taming and training zebra laws, which inherited the wild nature of zebras. However, the interest in zebra laws persists today, and they continue to be bred on some farms and in zoos around the world, mainly as a curiosity and for scientific study, zebra laws in pop culture. The zebra law attracts a lot of attention from curious people and animal lovers often being featured in TV shows, documentaries, and viral videos. Its unique appearance, combining the familiar body of a horse with the exotic stripes of a zebra, makes the zebra low a star attraction. Strength and Endurance One of the zebra low's genetic advantages is its strength and endurance. By inheriting the vigor of zebras, which are accustomed to living in African savannas and facing predators, the zebra low is remarkably robust and agile making it a strong animal for certain tasks. Limited domestication. While zebra lows can be trained to a certain extent, they still retain a strong wild nature, mainly due to the zebra's genetic influence. 
This makes them less reliable than horses for activities that require obedience and a calm temperament, such as riding or agricultural work. Zebra loss in the future. While zebra loss have not been widely accepted for work purposes, their existence continues to fascinate both scientists and the general public. Crossbreeding between zebras and horses offers valuable insights into genetics and hybridization while raising questions about how different species can be combined in ways that challenge our traditional notions of biology. Moreover, as symbols of biodiversity, zebra laws represent the potential for new genetic combinations and the exploration of the limits of animal breeding. Though they may not be ideal for practical purposes, they will undoubtedly continue to capture the curiosity and fascination of those who have the chance to see them. Conclusion The zebra law is an extraordinary example of what can happen when two distinct but related species crossbreed, with its striking appearance combining the body of a horse with the stripes of a zebra. The zebra law is a marvel of hybrid nature. While it is an animal that presents challenges in terms of domestication and practical use, it continues to capture the imagination of all who encounter it. These hybrids, both curious and impressive, are a reminder of how genetics can surprise us, creating unexpected combinations that expand our understanding of diversity in the animal world. The zebra law, like other hybrids, is living proof that nature always has something new and unexpected to show us. However, the combination with horse genes can also soften this temperament. Breeders have reported that zebra laws can be more cooperative than pure zebras, but they still exhibit a certain degree of resistance and independence that sets them apart from fully domesticated horses. Zebra law genetics, a hybrid of differences. Horses and zebras belong to the equus genus, but their species have different numbers of chromosomes. Horses have 64 chromosomes, while zebras have between 32 and 46, depending on the species. This makes hybridization a challenge, and it's the reason why zebra loss, like other hybrids, are usually infertile. Infertility occurs because the chromosomes of the parents do not align perfectly during reproduction, preventing the formation of viable gametes. Despite this infertility, the zebra law inherits a mix of physical and behavioral traits from both parents. The robust structure and speed of a horse combined with the stripe markings and resilience of a zebra make the zebra law a visually striking and physically powerful animal. History and Uses of the Zebra Law The idea of crossing zebras with horses is not new. During the 19th and early 20th centuries, zebra laws were bred with the goal of producing strong, hardy animals for transport and work in African regions. Since zebras are more adapted to hot and arid climates, it was hoped that the zebra law would combine this resilience with the strength and domestication of horses. These experiments did not achieve widespread success, mainly due to the difficulty in taming and training zebra laws, which inherited the wild nature of zebras. However, the interest in zebra laws persist today, and they continue to be bred on some farms and in zoos around the world, mainly as a curiosity and for scientific study.